Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. Right now you're watching a Math Salamanders walkthrough video. This is concerning rounding to two decimal places, sheet two. Now that's what the DP stands for in, in case you're wondering it's decimal places, but this is basically just the principles of rounding. They're the same whether you're talking about two decimal places, one decimal place, uh, one decimal place or a hundred decimal places, it doesn't matter. The principles are the same. And let me talk about what those principles are in an example for one decimal place. So one decimal place is a little bit easier. I thought I would start off there. So here we have two different numbers. One is 2.35, the other is 2.34. The rules are as follows. If it's a five or above, okay, so this could be a six, this could be a seven, you know, I could turn that into a really ugly six, okay, but whatever this number is, it could be 2.38, 2.39, okay, any of those, you're gonna round up. Now, what is the procedure here? If we're talking about rounding to one decimal place, I'm gonna get a purple highlighter here. If we're talking about rounding to one decimal place, that's the 10th place, we first must identify where that place is. So I'm gonna highlight that. Here's that place, there's the 10th place. And here's the 10th place in this number, okay? That's the first step. You need to identify where that place is. The second step, is you need to identify the place to the right of the tenths place, okay? That's the number that tells it what to do. So this five and that four are the two numbers that are gonna tell that tenths place, the first decimal place, what to do, okay? So the number to the right tells it what to do because it's always right, okay? You get it? That's a way to remember it. The number to the right tells it what to do, so the tenths place. Hope that wasn't too cringy. Uh, sometimes cringy helps you remember it though. So we have 2.35, the number to the right tells you what to do. I mean, it's a five and above, I've heard it said you give it a shove, okay? Kind of corny, but you give it a shove because it's five and above, so it's gonna be 2.4 is gonna be the number there. The five tells the three to go up, to round up. So this is when you round up, okay? So five and above, you give it a shove, make it round up. If it's a four or below, you let it go, okay? It rounds down. So what happens is this becomes 2.3. It stays the same, the number stays the same, but it actually is rounded down because that four disappears and it actually becomes a lower number of zero. Now, I didn't write the zero, okay? I've seen teachers do this and this helps you. You can leave it for now, but I'm just saying, if you run into one decimal place, you really shouldn't have it. But if it helps you to start, I, I'm with it. So if we round up, that five turns the four, or the three into a four, but we can leave the zero there, okay? So if you have two digits, you keep track and you have two digits. And if you have two digits, you're gonna keep track and have two digits. So it's just kind of clear to see, this clearly went down from a four to zero. This clearly went up because it turned the five into, well, we turn it into a zero, but we turn the next number up to a four, okay? Hope that's just maybe too much information. Let's go ahead and get started on the worksheet itself. Low battery, I'm almost done. So we have 0 0.249. Now we're rounding these to the second decimal place. That's the hundredths place. And you can see hundredths uh, down here listed. Here's hundredth place. Okay, so we first need to identify all the 100 places. So if you wanna go ahead and identify all those, that's fine. It's two places after the decimal, okay? I'll do a couple of these ones over here on this side too, okay? But I'm just identifying all these. Okay, this one's tricky because, well, I'll get to that one. I'll make sure I hit number 12. All right, so I identified the second decimal place. And again, what's the second step? The second step is understanding where is the number to the right? The number to the right is the one that tells it what to do. So the number to the right tells it what to do. I think I did the same thing there. Yep, double underline. So all these numbers to the right are gonna tell it what to do. Okay, and you get the point. So if it's a five or above, you're gonna round up, and four and below, you round down, and it corresponds to the arrow. So that's numbers five, six, seven, eight, nine, four, three, two, one, zero. So this one's a nine, so we're gonna tell this guy to round up. So 0 0.2, we round up to five, and if you want, you can have a placeholder zero, but technically, if it's after the decimal place, we don't need to have that. 0.25 and 0.250 are the same thing, 
but if it helps you, again, that's a place counter. So 0.25 is the rounded form of this. The one, what does it tell, what does it tell the five what to do? Well, we're gonna have 8.9, those are unaffected. And then we're gonna round this guy down. So we have it just stay at a five, okay? So I like to call it rounding off. You just keep it at the five. Again, if you wanna round it down, have that one become zero, that's fine. Sometimes I think that's a little confusing, so I just concentrate on the number next to it. Five, that's just making the line there, so it's gonna turn that into 0.27. Seven is bigger than five, so it's 9.11, okay? That one, that zero becomes a one. Okay, this is an example I wanted to get to. We have seven point, I can't write the five yet, because technically what happens? This six tells, it's bigger than five, it tells the nine to go up, but there's nowhere to go. So technically we have to round again, okay? Well, not rounding, but this nine becomes a 10. So we're gonna leave the zero there, okay? So we round up, we're gonna leave the zero there, and we're gonna add this one and the five together, and that becomes a six. So that's a little tricky. Think of it as 59, and you're going plus one because you're rounding up, so you round up to 60, and that's how that functions. 11.08, okay, most of these are fairly straightforward. 20.4, uh, whoops, yep, I, th I did that correctly. Four, uh, seven, that one stays down, and then 27.82, because that five tells the one to round up. Okay, I wanted to go to number 12. Where's the number to the right? There is no number to the right. You could consider that a zero to the right. So you're gonna keep that the same. If it's already to two decimal places, you just keep it 13.43 to two decimal places, okay? And some of these other ones, you guys should get the hang of. I wonder if there's any more nines that I could do, but I'm not seeing any. Ah, here's another one. So 24 is another hard one, nine point. Technically, it's 39. This eight tells that nine to go up to 40, okay? And if it says two decimal places or hundredths, that means you need to have two decimal places. I know you said, I said that you can't have a zero, or you can, but you shouldn't have a zero at the end. But if it says two decimal places, you definitely need two digits represented, even if it's a zero, okay? So that's a little pro tip for you. This last section is just matching, so you look, you're rounding the same thing. So this guy tells him to stay the same. This is gonna be 0 0.54, boom, that's him. Uh, that's uh, five or under, or sorry, four or under, so this is gonna round this up to 0.52. That goes to him. Um, this guy rounds up that zero to one, so he goes with him. This guy's gonna round up to 0.55. This guy is gonna be 0 0.59. 0 0.562 is just gonna round down to that. And then this one, that's one of those examples I had earlier. 59 becomes 60, we almost had that identical one. And then 0.58, and I think that's all the digits. And that's all there is for this worksheet. I didn't do some of those in the middle column. They don't look that bad, except for this one, 7.10. Um, make sure to check out some of my other videos. I have tons of math salamander videos tons of help, leave a comment, I'll happily make a video for you, and I have tons of other content that I'm sure you'll enjoy also, so I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.